Netflix CEO, you know, your favorite CEO, CEO of all, um, Black Folk Hotspots CEO. Um, basically, I, I like to call but sometimes say, hey, the I'm the, the, the marketing agent for over uh, 1,300 businesses, and we help them get more exposure on the internet. Um, and, and people call me up or they ask me questions all the time, you know, whether it's on Facebook or or uh, MySpace, because people still actually go to MySpace, believe that or not. Um, and all our information goes to MySpace. So even for those those two or three people that still left on MySpace, there's a possibility they're saying it. Um, but LinkedIn and, and Twitter and things like that on how to market their business. So I had a question today. I got a phone call actually with this question. And this person is going from like basically a sole proprietor where they basically did all the work. And one of the things that they wanted to know was how do you, and they say that clients really like the fact that it was just them, right? That they, you know, they, they do web design and now they're adding in some people who now help them out with some logos and some other parts of the business. And they want to know how, 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 how do, um, how do, um, how can they go from, how do they go from I to we without upsetting their clients? And they wanted my opinion on that. And, you know, obviously this is just my opinion. There may be different. If it is, be sure to, to shoot some comments back in, you know, in the comment field, things like that. Or comment on this video wherever you're seeing it. Uh, and tag, um, if you're on Facebook, tag at Black Folk Hotspots. Um, that's our fan page. So make sure, you know, our, our like business page. So make sure you like it and tag us in it. And so we can get that and we can respond back to you. If you know who, my name personally and I'm on Facebook and one of your friends, then tag me in it and tell me what you think. Well, they want to know, how do you go from I to we? And at first I had to get some clarification because I'm like, well, that's easy. Just, you know, with your clients, you know, how do you go from I to we with your clients? I'm like, that's, that's easy. Just start saying we, <laughs> you know, cause it can be two different spins on that. And the spin could be where you are working with this client. So, you know, one-on-one -on -one ish, right? You guys are, you know, doing everything together. You're there, they're, they're, the ace. Uh, consultant, you're like a consultant, you're like a partner of the company, you're like a piece of the company, and that's awesome, right? And so, when you do discuss certain things, you always discuss as we, right? Instead of I, well, I'm gonna do this for you, but like, no, we're gonna do this, and, and then we're gonna do that, and make them feel part that you're part of whatever. The um, or the other part was, you know, and I've always told people sometimes when it's just you, always refer to yourself as we. Um, because you're not in business by yourself. Um, you, you, you may think you are, but you're really not. You, you, you're doing, you're dealing with other people. You got accountants, you got this, you got family members. So it is a we, so it takes, you know, somebody might have to watch a kid while you do some business or whatever. So it is a we, but you know, um, a wise man always said to me, you know, don't think about where you're at today. Think about where you're going. So if you start seeing we, as your company starts to form and it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger, you start to add more people, that we is already natural. You know, I equate it to relationships. If there's a woman that I'm interested in and we've been dating for a while and things like that, I always, always, always start referring to things like when we do this or we do that and we do that because I'm thinking to the future of it being a we and maybe, you know, one day she having my last name, Right. So it's always a we, but if I keep saying I, 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 then right off the bat, that's just saying that, you know what? I don't have no intentions on ever putting a ring on your finger or anything like that. I have none. But if I do have some interest in that, I want to say we, because I want to get her thinking that this, this is, this is not just, you know, um, a one night stand, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is a future. There's possibility of a future here if all things go you know, if you pass this vetting process, for lack of a better word, you know. Um, but yeah, so I think going from I to we is is a better scenario, um, and I think it's easy to do. You start having, you just have to start programming your own mind to say that the client's not going to be like, hey, hey, what are you talking about this we stuff? Well, you know what? It is a partnership because they're paying you to provide a service for them, so. Both of you guys are co-mingled together. You know, you're interdependent. So there's already a we. So make sure you, you know, you take advantage of that. But anyway, that's, I think I answered the question pretty well. If you think it's something I should have added or, or you think that was the dumbest advice you can ever tell anyone, then 
by all means, just tell me in the comments. It won't hurt my feelings. Trust me. Um, I'm not, I don't know everything. Some people say I do, but I always tell them, no, you think I do. I don't think I do. That's why I read, I study, I listen to other people constantly because I'm always in a quest for more knowledge so that I can help other people. But I don't, I may know a lot about it. I know, uh, and I had a friend that actually said, he said, you know what? I used to think that you thought you knew everything. But what I realized was you just know, a, you know, a little bit about a bunch of different subjects. And that's because I talk to people and I read and things like that. I just like to fill my head with stuff that's going to help me become a better person. Um, and I advise you to do the same thing. Matter of fact, for you business owners, for you business people, I think one of the good um, 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 books to read on that Ida we is the E-Myth Revisited uh, by uh, Michael Gerber. I'll put the link uh, so you can review it on, on Amazon in the uh in the description but it's a great book on you know the e-myth the myth of, of of entrepreneur right and it talks about one of the main things i took away from that book was something that he said um stop working in your business and start working on your business which means quit being an employee of your business and hire hire people to be your employees and you're working, you're looking at it from a bigger perspective up top, right? You're, you're thinking about vision and expansion. You're thinking four or five years out. You're not thinking just today. So those are things that I would like to share. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys got something out of this. But definitely check out that book, um, um, E-Myth by Michael Gerber. I'll put the link in there. Um, also, make sure you become, um, create a profile, for um, reserve a spot for your business, uh, blackfolkhotspots.com uh, for our business directory that's launching soon. And then um, make sure that you uh, become a member um, of the BFHS network, all right? And there you can network with other business owners and partnership and support each other, you know, ask each other's questions. You know, um, there's been a lot of great connections that's come out of the network. Um, we, we've done some great things for, for people and, and help them get more exposure for their business. So, um, and then you can post blogs, videos, videos. I said that blogs, pictures, videos, discussion, add a group if you want to do that. Um, and then we'll events and we'll share that with other people. Um, my goal is to get, you know, 10,000 people this year. Right. And my goal is to have one million black businesses working together or at least linked up together, whether on, on black folk hotspots. And that's power numbers to link us all together so that we can help grow our communities that we live in um, every day. Anyway, um, that's about it for today. Uh, There's a little bit less than 10 minutes, but make sure you comment, like, um, share this video with uh, uh, the, on the social connect, uh, uh, social media sites that you're on, like Facebook and MySpace and Twitter and LinkedIn and, you know, Google Plus, things like that. Make sure you hit the share button um, and share so somebody might be able to use this. You just don't know who, who it may be. And the worst case scenario, you'll be like, oh, man, they, people know that you're in business and you're getting some good information. So um, and I like that, too. Just the fact that or you can, you know, uh, you want to reach us. You can like our business page on Facebook. At, it's Black Folk Hotspots. So it's Facebook dot com forward slash Black Folk Hotspots. No S because folk is already plural. Um, or you can follow us on on Twitter at uh, at BFHS Network um, and let's connect um definitely send me a mention um i want or you can send me one personally or any questions you may have about business to at gi operation that's gi gary indiana which is where i'm from and in operation so gi operation and or bfhs network one of the two i'll, I'll check both um, but i'll probably check gi operation a whole lot quicker sometimes um and that way we can connect and you can ask questions and then maybe i'll do a video um for that Anyway, we're looking for six people to join the BFHS network. I got $600 that I need to spend that Google gave me. And the next six people that sign up are going to get that. Um, it's some free advertising dollars. Hey, can't be free, right? Free 99. But anyway, talk to you guys soon. Subscribe um, so you won't miss any videos. Um, like, comment, share. Um, talk to you guys soon. Peace.